apparently I'm young, cool, hip, and not the typical opera goer. So one day I was browsing the internet and I found out that the Seattle Opera was going to produce a documentary following Wagner's Ring Cycle this summer and they needed a host. So I made my video, submitted it, the voting was posted online and I told everybody I knew to vote for me. She'd been bombarding us for about a week beforehand on Facebook, you know, constant messages, vote for me, vote for me, vote for me. So they did and now I'm the host. So along my experiences this summer, I'm going to be updating you guys, the audience, on everything you need to know about the ring and everything that I'm learning about the ring because right now I know nothing. Zip, nada, zilch. So hopefully you guys and me will learn a thing or two along the way. Today, the Real Girls crew followed my friends and I to Varlamos, where I was eating dinner with a bunch of my friends. Hopefully nobody eating dinner was too bothered by the camera crew. And they probably got some really embarrassing shots of me shoving food into my face. I'm probably different than a lot of people that you think would go to the opera. Wow, if Cassidy just became an opera buff, it'd be interesting, only because I'm so used to going to her house and going hot tubbing. It's kind of reserved for an older crowd, I guess I'd say. Large ladies singing high-pitched voices and breaking the glass. Quote unquote, the fat lady singing. I can't see myself going to an opera. I just feel like I'm just way too young, you know? Who wrote The Ring? Like The Ring, the movie? With like the girl in the well or something. I don't think she's that much of an opera girl. I think she's gonna be in for a culture shock. Is she an opera kind of girl? I don't really think so, but I think she can pull it off. Here's to Cassidy. Enjoy the ring cycle. Cheers. I don't really know where I'm going. <laughs> That's a Seattle Opera. I guess I'm going the right direction, maybe. Hopefully it's not locked. So I'm about to meet Spate, who is the general director of Seattle Opera, and everybody keeps telling me not to be nervous, but he's kind of a god in the opera world. So I'm a little scared. Hopefully I live up to his standards. Hi. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Have a seat. How did you get into opera? Uh, well, I started at the age of six. I was interested in people. I, you know, I heard about opera in school. I came home and asked for a book. I read about it. The first thing I ever read, the first thing I'd ever heard about was The Valkyrie was the woman put to sleep on a rock surrounded by fire. I read that, I started listening to Metropolitan Opera broadcasts. I loved that. So I was involved in it from the time I was, you know, by the time I was nine years old, I knew I was gonna work in opera. What I was gonna do, I didn't know. I didn't want to sing and I didn't want to direct. I didn't want to conduct, but I, you know, what I really wanted to do is what I'm doing. So what does a general director do exactly? I plan what operas we're gonna do. I cast them. Um, I also am in, in, in responsible for, for balancing the budgets or raising, you know, raising the money for that. I'm very much involved in the rehearsals myself and going down to rehearsals, being there, you know, very much in, involved in the product. I'm the one person who has to choose who's going to sing, what we're going to do, all these things. Did you vote during the confessions finals voting? Yes, I did, but I don't think it's appropriate for me to say for whom I voted. But I'm delighted you won. <laughs> I talked to Spate. Everyone let on that he would be kind of intimidating. Oh my gosh, Spate is a god. Oh, you'll be okay, it won't be bad, don't be nervous. And I was intimidated, but he was really nice. He was a warm, cool guy. All in all, today was a great day. Thanks for watching.